If you are sitting in the chair, I advise you to sit down on the ground because you might die laughing. Hali Sadri, we are silly Amri. Wahalul Okudatam Milisani, Yafkau Kauli. My respected brothers and sisters, the topic for my today's talk will be punishment in the grave and how will the will be punished in the grave and what will happen to the pious persons in the grave who lived according to the Islamic monotheism. Okay, the first thing I would like to talk about over here is that of course we believe uh, I mean not we believe I don't know who believes or, or not but according to logic and common sense that the reason for us no the guy in the atheist he's just making fun he's not convert he's just making fun he's saying brother after I saw this video I became a Muslim <laughs> Anyway, let's get the, the, the introduction here, and he will tell you the story. And now, let us see how many of you will convert to Islam too. This world. Uh, let me talk about a few of the punishments which will happen in the grave to the bad people. And those punishments are, <laughs> of course, very fearful. And uh, the punishment will start from here that two angels will, uh, will come. They will ask you three questions. First is, who is your Lord? Second. What is your religion? Third, who is this person? And they will show you a face of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May peace and blessings be upon him. When he, when the angels will ask you the first question, who is your Lord? The people will answer, I don't know. Maadri. This is uh, in Arabic. Maadri means I don't know. They will ask, what is your religion? He will say, Maadri. I don't know. Who is this person? Madri. I don't know. Then the angels will hit you with a hammer between your two ears, mean on your face. Now from here, um, if you see that those hammer will be of steel, uh -huh. and it will be kind of big and. You can find them in Home Home Depot. They are called the sledgehammer. Yeah. So they will ask you three questions. You are you are in the grave now, and you are dead. And now two angels they will come to you. Naker one kier. All those are coming from the Jewish stories. And they will ask you three questions, and now Muhammad is adding his own. Like, you know, uh, who, is the, who is this guy? They will show you a picture of Muhammad. I thought pictures is haram. So they will show you an image of Muhammad, and they will say, who is this guy? If you don't say Muhammad, they will hit you with the hammer. They will ask you, who is your God? If you don't say Allah, they will hit you with the hammer. If they ask you, what is your religion? If you don't say Islam, they will hit you with the hammer. Well, we knew all the answers now. So me, I can go right now to the grave and the angel will come to me. I know how to can get away with it. He will ask me, who is your God? I will say Allah. <laughs> what is your religion? I will say Islam. What is, who is this prophet? I will say Muhammad. And then the angels will leave me alone. I mean, what kind of a question? We know the answer for it already. What, what, what kind of test is that test is? Quite heavy. And if you hit your face from your hand, like this on your face, you feel a little bit of pain. And if you hit hard on the nose or on this part, True story. you will feel a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And think how much hard will they hit you from the hammer. They will hit you with so much force that your head will blow into parts. And then they will join again and they will hit you again. And they will keep hitting you for a while. And if a person thinks that how much uh, with how much force and velocity will they hit me with that hammer that with only one hit my head is gonna break up into pieces whoa okay then from then there will come snakes in the grave mm. and those snakes are not snakes uh, which are found in this world they are snakes which will come from hell there will be 90 snakes each snake with nine heads and those snakes are so full of poison that it is said by the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that if one of those snakes bite the earth this earth then till the day of uh, Qiyamat means till the last day that the, the whole earth will never ever uh, bring out any any greenery everything will be rotten and no one will be able to harvest any plants or any trees or something the earth will be so much poison it will be full of so poison and they will keep biting you the snakes will keep biting you from day to night if you don't pray if you don't worship and each bite 
they will uh, the snakes will bite you it will take you 70 yards beneath the earth I mean a man no matter how much powerful he might be if he uh, grabs something and throws it uh, on This is a true story. I mean, who can of us deny that? We cannot. This is must be a true story. Any Muslim?